Okay, well to do this part of the question, what I've done is I've written out our random variable, the fact that it's normally distributed, mean of 50, 50 kilograms, and the standard deviation we know is 2 kilograms, so the variance, our second parameter, must be the standard deviation squared, 2 squared, or you could obviously write 4 there. And I would always encourage you to draw a diagram, a normal distribution for our random variable x. And uh, so I draw this diagram, put in my mean here, mu of 50, okay, mu equaling 50, and we've got to work out the probability that x is more than 53. So I'd mark in 53 down here somewhere. An observed value, little x equaling 53. That probability then is given by the area to the right of 53. Once I've done that, I would draw my standardized normal distribution, z. Remember, it's got a mean of 0 and a variance of 1. I draw it directly below the random variable x, okay, that distribution here. And so what I can do then is project down the observed value x down onto this one and call this value here z1, say. Okay, so that's z1. That's not so clear, let's just do it again, z1. So working out the probability of being more than 53 is the same as working out the probability of being more than this value z1. So how do we get z1? Okay, well first of all, to get z1, must remember then that z is always equal to the observed value, x, directly above it, minus the mean, mu, over the standard deviation, sigma. So we can fill this in then with our values. Z will be Z1, okay, so therefore we're going to have Z1 equaling the observed value, 53, minus the mean, mu, 50, all divided by the standard deviation, which we're given, was 2, okay? So pop that in there. So 53 minus 53 divided by 2, 1.5, 1.5. And remember, this is telling us that our observed value 53 is 1.5 standard deviations above the mean, 50. This is so easy, you can see that, you know, because standard deviation is 2, 1.5 lots of 2 is going to be 3. If you add 3 to 50, you get 53. So 1.5 standard deviations then above the mean. So working out then the probability that x is more than 53 is exactly the same as working out the probability that z is more than one and a half standard deviations above the mean. Now to do this we need our normal distribution tables, commutative distribution tables. Remember, these are tables that give us the probability of z being less than a given value of z. But we have a slight problem because we want more than one and a half. But we can get around this problem purely because we know that the area under the, the whole graph is one. So we can think of this as being equal to one minus the probability that z is less than one and a half standard deviations above the mean. Okay? And if you've got your tables, just look for z equals 1.5. It might be displayed as 1.50. And then to the right of that value, you should have the probability that it's less than 1.50. Uh, okay? So it's 0.9332 that you should find that you get. So 1 minus 0.9332. And if you work that out, what you get is 0.0668. So there you go. There's the probability that a bag of cement contains more than 53 kilograms.